verification of first law i got a battery bt a rheostat and we got a key and a meter connected in series to an electrolytic site this is an electrolytic cell the cathode is cleaned dried weighted and then inserted in the cell a current i1 is a pass for a time t the current is measured by the ammeter and the cathode is uh, taken out this one is taken out dried and weighted again hence the mass m1 of the substance deposited is obtained we are able to see something is deposited here the cathode is reinserted in the cell and a different current i2 is passed now i2 is passed and we got mass m2 of the deposit is obtained so it is compared as m1 divided by m2 is equal to i1 divided by i2 which indicates the mass of the substance is directly proportional to the current passed this is your verification of faraday's first law the experiment is repeated for the same current i but for different time intervals t1 and t2 if the masses of the deposits of m3 and m4 are respectively it is found that m3 divided by m4 is equal to t1 divided by t2 from the relations we will be getting mass is equal to mass is directly proportional to i into t or mass is directly proportional to the charge this is how your first law is verified if you talk about the second law you are able to see two electrolytic cells containing different electrolytes so here you are able to see the silver nitrate and your copper sulfate which is connected in series with your battery with a battery bt and you got your rheostat and an ammeter the copper electrode are inserted into the copper sulfate and silver electrode is inserted into the silver nitrate the cathodes are cleaned dried weighted and then inserted in the respective cells the current is passed for some time then the cathodes are taken out washed dried and weighted the masses of copper and silver deposited are found as m1 and m2 and we are able to find that m1 divided by m2 is equal to e1 divided by e2 but e1 and e2 are the chemical equivalents of copper and silver so m is directly proportional to e this is your second law 